Good evening. I'm going to read from 10,000 Steps Against the Tyrant, my latest book of poetry. I wrote this book during the 2020 campaign against that orange-haired tyrant we, we suffered in, in these United States and during the pandemic. So there are the two scourges, uh, the sort of the the reason for the for the book. Um, address beyond Gattis, Gettysburg. We're not going to stop. We've already started to walk, to run, our legs stretching, striding. The wind is behind us, blowing our hair and pushing us ahead. Every day, every hour, every minute fills us with enormous adrenaline, enormous hope. There are only so many insults the brain and heart can take before they begin to fight back. But with guidance from the village elder to dilute the poison barb with herbs and prayers, to get the Russians on the back foot, to invite Chinese to return to business, to let ordinary Iranians drink coffee in peace. But I am not a mere internationalist. No, my friends, I'm running with Iowa farmers former steel workers of Bethlehem, chicken pickers of Purdue plants in Tennessee. I'm not satisfied with the way things are in 50 states and all the dependencies. In Puerto Rico, I will not ignore people after they suffer hurricanes twice. In New Orleans and the bayou, I'm not going to stop at building a levee. I will hold, I will build parishes back with the faith that sustains me and them that we will see a promised land, that we can arrive there together, one nation under God. And I have only just begun, just begun. Give me your stories from every community, every state house. We're going to talk among ourselves, one great family conversation around the fireplace, the TV, the radio, the computer, the phone. We're going to go back towards building that great society. Do you remember the dream deferred? Langston Hughes will be on my night table. Congressman Lewis will dance in my dreams as he did in Congress. Blue dog Democrats will have their say at the table and we will listen to reasonable arguments from the other side. What is reasonable? That we spend the budget to get people back to work in good health and with hope that we make peace with our friends again and we trust but verify our enemies. The right path. Let us roll, America. Let us not look back. Let us seize the fellow by the absent coattail. Let us reveal the traipsing emperor nude, and let us remember and defend the rights of our virus dead. But let us do so with respect, with love. Why? because Jesus says so. Why? Because we are not jackals and hyenas. Why? Because we have to get back on the road to the promised land. And I read one more poem. This one from the section on the pandemic. And um, I wrote it for my mother, thinking of my mother, who appears throughout this book, actually, in different ways. This one's called Late Night Olive Oil. Let us put the letters and fears and boiling emotions on the page, mummy. Why did you go to the kitchen stealthily without a word to your sleeping son, without your walker, to find the large bottle of olive oil, to pour it on the table and floor, to fill a small vessel which you meant to carry back to your room as if nobody would notice until you called my name because you could not negotiate the rest of the way from dining table to bedroom, vessel in hand, without cane or walker. I write to atone for my flailing words saying never, never, never again. The kitchen is prohibited. Your mania for oil in the hair is prohibited. The stealthy, mischievous, childish, truant foray into the darkness with a torch in hand, which you forgot on the countertop. All of this is prohibited. Your losing memory and control are prohibited. 
these words are prohibited. Decline and death are prohibited. Thank you very much.